Most people, when they talk about flipping a property, don't mean it quite as literally as Carol Siegel does. Carol is one of the founders of Crate and Barrel, and here at this mansion in Winnetka, she switched front for back doors. Where I'm standing here at the front door was once the back door, vice versa on the other side of the house. She did that because she was completely reworking the house. Started with a great property that had a lot of nice things she wanted to keep, like a beautiful serpentine wall out in the garden, nice rooms, beautiful land and stone front, but she made a lot of changes that really took it to another level. Let's go inside and talk to her about what she did. I'm sitting with Carol Siegel in the living room of this house that she worked on. Carol, thank you for being here, and tell me, what interested you about this particular house? Well, it was a great house. Some friends of ours owned it. Passed, they passed away, and it was for sale. When that deal went through, I said, you know, Gordon, uh, my husband, I said, let's look at this house because I think it's got great potential to be back to a grand old home. After all, it was designed by Ralph Husba, Hazza, and um, it just had great potential, sitting on a beautiful piece of property in Winnetka. 2.4 acres, right? 2.4 acres, And we right. can see most of that from this room. You changed this room so that I really could take advantage of the acreage. Yes, uh, this was a porch here, just a jealousy oh, porch sitting in the front, which really didn't keep with the architecture. Anyway, I could find that the footings were good, and so we, we basically kicked this out to 35 feet. So the living room ended at those first windows, but now yes, it's sits now right this, out into right, the yard. Right, right. That's and then there were uh, the windows that were in here had panels on the bottom, and I love bringing nature inside. I live with nature. I think nature is just fabulous. So we, uh, it's just calming and soothing, and it's what it's it's very important to many people's lives. I think the calming and soothing sort of sets the tone for what you did all the way through the house, doesn't it? Uh, yes, I think I think that's what I achieved because that's the way I live. So this is really a reflection of my lifestyle. That comfortable elegance that Carol brought to the house is visible here in the foyer, very crisp and pleasant place she created. And then there are two dining rooms. There's one, a very large and formal space, and next to it is a family dining room, a much more intimate, a smaller space. It's got a fireplace, and that would be where you'd have your smaller dinners. Another intimate room is behind me here, a study, probably once a servant's room, but now just a nice little relief from that large living room. Then you've got this very nice staircase, original to the house, that she made some changes to, but wait till you see what she did in the kitchen. Well, here in the kitchen, you created a very nice, crisp, modern space, and Carol, this is very big. Thank you. It is great, isn't it? It's a fabulous kitchen. I'm really proud of it. It was three small rooms, and it uh, was able to open it up, and the ceilings were high, and create this wonderful counter space. You know, if you're a cook, this is, the, uh, this is a dream kitchen. I would think. And you know kitchens very well. You founded Foodstuffs as well as Crate and Barrel. This is the sort of place you'd like to cook? I would love this kitchen. My kitchen is half this size. Oh. But it does have this big, long counter. So when you're cooking, you can spread things out, and it's just fabulous. It's also great. Family can sit up there. Um, we could spill out to the garden through these big doors. Absolutely. Right? Everything goes outside. And then so. you've got an enormous amount of storage space. Absolutely. It's everywhere. Absolutely. Underneath the counter, too. I feel that this is going to be a room that people are going to really want to use. I would think. Now, what about the pantry? Is that a dream pantry for you? That's you a did dream. something real clever in there. Thank you very much. I, it's, again, a wish list of mine. <laughs> I don't have a pantry, and so um, I keep things in a lot of very esoteric places oh. in my home. But this has a wonderful place for glassware and extra dishes when you're, when, when you're not for everyday use, but that you've got them so that you can see them. And it's right off of the family dining room. So that, and there's another uh, dishwasher in there and some two sub-zero uh, refrigerator drawers. So um, I, I think this place is going to work for somebody really well. Some of that storage that Carol mentioned is original, like the book storage here in the library on the second floor. This is one of the places where she didn't have to do much. It looked like this in 1936, this nice knotty pine paneling, the fireplace. Really all she had to do was clean it up. Then we go to the master's suite, and there's a whole lot more storage in there. There's a small dressing room and then a great big dressing room on the other side. Master bedroom is nice. She lifted up the ceiling to create more spaciousness, but she also, as she mentioned, expanded with a very pretty sitting room off the master bedroom. Then there's a master bath, really nice. It's got a big soaking tub that looks out into the trees, beautiful tile, ceramic tile, nice floating vanities, very pretty room. 
And as you go down the hallway, you pass all the family bedrooms. Each has its own bath. They've got great views. And then you get to a landing and staircase that she reworked. Very pretty stairs. It's the rear stairs, and it takes us down back near the kitchen and out to that family room we're going to take a look at. Now, this family room is gorgeous, but it's another example of how you completely change the house around. There's a history to this room. Absolutely. This was the three-car garage. This was the garage. This was the garage. And everybody can, as we've said before, spill out to the outside. These nice big doors you created lead us to this garden. Can we take a look? Absolutely. Boy, so this is such a great space. It's walled. We've got this privacy. It feels like a secluded little space, but once again, changed from what it used to look like, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This was the back of the this was the front of the house, and I've turned it to the back of the house. The wall is original, um, and where the green grass is was all just asphalt. I kept the original pavers, which were the border, and so now you have this grass lawn and patio that extends in beyond it. So it, it's a wonderful place for outdoor entertaining privacy. Um, Oh, in small groups or big, I think this would be a great little spot to be in. This is a real transformation. You must be very proud. I am very proud. I love projects and I love being creative and I think this one really worked well.